What's good, family? So, mash the like button and subscribe. So, as you've seen by the title, and as you've seen by likely quite a few of the videos swanning around on social media, Tyson, oh, theory, Tyson, the disdained one, the disgraced one, theory. I'm hearing from my connects in Texas, live from Texas, my dons who are at the event said that Fury stormed off immediately after. In fact, before basically before Billy Ho even got off off the out of his corner off the off the stool, Tyson Fury had left the arena. And when I say off the stool, we all know that Billy Ho didn't make the bell. So literally, Billy Ho jacked. That video clip came out where Tyson Fury turns his back and he looks disgraced. Before Billy Ho got up and exited the ring, Tyson Fury had left the arena. And the evidence is out there. We see Billy Ho walk back to the to his changing room. Tyson Fury, six foot nine, pink t -sh pink shirt, nowhere to be found. Again, anyone saying, well, Fury might have got caught up somewhere, guess what? Two, three hours later, when Billy Ho left the changing room and went to the ambulance, six foot nine, pink shirt, Fury, nowhere to be found. So, like I said, my sources are 100% correct. Tyson Fury watched his main man, Jack in the corner, and thought, you know what, I'm getting out of here, before I have to face the reign of the media. And again, another key sign that proves this, that proves Fury's disgust, because listen, never mind the videos, again, I had people posted up in the Texas arena who saw Fury's face. They was WhatsApping me, YB, you won't believe it. Fury's steaming. For the few minutes he was there, after the fight ended, on his way out, he was steaming. And a key telltale sign, another, another key telltale sign that Fury was, was steaming and just got out of there ASAP. Was the fact that you'll notice there's no social media interviews. There's no YouTube interviews. There's no Instagram interviews. Very little footage has come out of Fury. That's because he weren't there long. The fight ended. And meanwhile, all the reporters and whatnot are partying and putting their posts out about the fight finishing. And in between the fight finishing and them putting their posts out, Fury was gone. Hence why there ain't no fight hype. No one's there. Fight hype don't miss anything. They plug one, one second videos. IFL TV don't miss nothing. They'll post a five second clip if they've got it. There ain't, there ain't no clips. Because Fury, in between Billy Ho jacking and the excitement of the fans, and then putting the social media posts out and the results, Fury was gone. That's what the evidence shows. That's what my dons in the stadium are saying. Fury's steaming. Not in a good way either. Yeah? He's disgusted with Billy Ho, is what I'm hearing. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure that somewhere down the line, he'll probably send a message. Now I've put this video out. Do you remember when I put the video out about AJ? And next thing you know, AJ comes, oh, well, I loved your performance, Lawrence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now I've put the video out, don't get me wrong. I'm under no illusions. In a second, we'll see a tweet from Fury. Oh, oh, Billy Ho, you're a fighting man, a good man. But just remember this, yeah? When AJ was fighting... How quickly did Tyson Fury react on Twitter? Instantly. Instantly. Boom. Posting all about it. Extra, extra. Read all about it. That's what Fury was like on his Twitter. Two twos. His mans, who he's been shilling for. Shilling hard, by the way. Shilling hard all week. Chanting and allegedly, I say this in quotation marks, getting in Canelo Alvarez's head. All that business. His main mans just got washed. His main man's, Canelo just put your main man's in the cupboard. And put him in the cup cupboard. Told him to sit there and, you know what I'm saying? With, six, with a six pack of Stella, shoved him in there. Your main man's, and you got nothing to say. He was there in person. He's gone. He mad, he's steaming. He's disgraced with what's happened. He talked, with, with Billy, he talked all the talk. Oh well, Billy will never quit. He'll go out dying. Oh, that's what Fury was saying. And he couldn't believe what he saw. He couldn't believe. And one thing I have to give Fury credit for over Billy Ho, I do have to admit, and I'm not a hater, I give people their credit. I do have to admit, Fury 
His ears made of more minerals than Billy Ho. At least Fury, to his credit, it, he will try and get back up. As long as his genetics permits. But either way, he, he, he will get back up. Billy Ho didn't even go down once. And that's how you know he jacked. Yeah? Because even Kelly Brook, people say things like, Oh, well, Kelly Brook. Kelly Brook quit. Kelly Brook went down a few times with his eye. Kelly Brook's eye was bust from about the seventh round. It went on till ten. Kelly Brook battled on. Sorry, Kelly Brook battled on for two, three, four rounds. And in fact, another one. Guess who had a whole lot to say about Kelly Brook? Guess who? Another one. In fact, Daniel Dubois. Daniel Dubois, who's younger, more inexperienced, heavyweight, taking heavier shots. Guess what everyone had to say? Especially Billy Joe. Billy Joe was criticising Kell Brook. Kell Brook, go out on your shield, mate. Kell Brook, he took your right eye. Give him your left one, too. Daniel Dubois, I've heard enough of you. You're Jack, mate. You should have gone out on your back. Fury, to his credit. Yeah, he, he, he so far, so good. He got up. Which is more than we can say for Billy. Because Billy, the thing about Billy is, he didn't want to go down. That's what he didn't want. He was more worried about looking bad going down than he was fighting on and trying to win. That's how you know someone's a true sucker. Someone, in fighting, yeah, someone's a real sucker when they're more worried about how it looks. They're trying to, Billy Ho, from about, in that last two, three rounds, he was thinking about perception. He wasn't thinking about winning, he was thinking, oh, you know, let me see if I can win on points. and Oh, let me see if I can just, you know what I'm saying? He was worried about getting memed. He was more worried about that than he was winning. And he, and he told us the opposite. He told us, I don't care about the money. I don't care about how it looks. I'm going to win. This, it wasn't backed up. That spirit, was that same mouth he had out of the ring, he didn't have no mouth. Which, to be fair to Alvarez, Alvarez, Alvarez has that bang on him, clearly. Alvarez has that bang that can wipe out 300 years of bare-knuckle warriors. Just wiped him out. With a few, and this is the thing. I was... It, my, Obviously, my Patreon dons know that I was actually criticising Alvarez. I was I was going mad. If you man saw the video, I'll go mad. What's he doing? I was screaming him at him to go to work. I was getting annoyed. He was taking too long. Fair play to him and his team. They know more than I do about boxing, obviously. Because they planned to let his legs wear out and then go to work. I was just gagging for him to get on with it. Lo and behold, their plan worked out perfectly. Fair play to them. But nonetheless, he can bang. Because, like I said, Billy Ho, Tyson Fury, had 300 years of... 300 years of warrior magic, allegedly, behind them. 300 years of bare-knuckle magic. Oops. The first round... Wow, 300 years of magic was wiped out in less than three minutes. Because the only round that Alvarez went to work was that last one. So it's kind of... You know what I mean? 300 year of... 300 year of... Bare knuckle magic just got smoked by the Mexican Don. Yeah? Three minutes of Mexican wiped out 300 years of bare knuckle warrior. That's what we do know. End of the day, you man can be mad, man can be sour, but that is what it is. And that's why I'm using certain words, you see, so people don't get personal. Warrior. Yeah, bare knuckle warrior. Let's just call it that. Bare knuckle warrior got murked. In three minutes. 300 years of bare knuckle warrior wiped out. No doubt. And all that talk, and that's why Fury, and I don't even blame Fury to be honest. I've heard some people say, like, I've heard some LDBC reactions, some wilder fangirl reactions to this fight. They say things like, Oh man, well, you know, we gotta back our own, you gotta back your own. No, you don't have to back your own, yeah? If your own do things that aren't acceptable, you don't back them. That's where everyone goes wrong. If, in, 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 in general, that's the case as well. The reason the world is the way it is is because everyone backs their own. Rather than saying what's right and wrong. Oh, you know what? Well, it isn't really right putting him on a ship and translating him all over across the world. Let's not do that. Oh, well, you know, I'm sticking with my own. Or, or, or you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, a whole, a whole bag of man knifing each other. Well, you know, I'm going to stick with our own on this one. It's not right. So, fair play to Fury. Not sticking with his own on this one. Right is right and wrong is wrong. No matter what you are, what you not are. It's, 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 the truth's the truth. And that's what this channel is. We tell the truth. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're black, blue, red, yellow. You get called out. Fury clearly had enough. Fury, not going, no, I'm not going hospital with you. I'm not going back to your change room. I'm off. Me and, me and Ricky are off. See you later.
Yeah? We're going to... We're going to go... We're, we're going to Link Chapo for a hot sec. That's what they said. I don't even blame them. Because if I'd have been there and watched that live, I'd have been needing a pick-me-up too. No doubt. So yeah. End of day. In summary, in conclusion, Tyson Fury is theming that his man didn't carry the party line well. Fury, for the last week, flew, went out of his way to fly down. Fury's in Vegas. No, we're near Texas. He flew down to support his man, thinking they were of the same cloth. Now, we're going to find out. To be fair to Fury, we are going to find out. Thankfully, we're not going to have to wait long to see what Fury's made of properly. If Fury proves himself against AJ, assuming it happens, fair play to him. I'll give him his credit. No doubt, I've told you that every time. Wilder, mm, don't rate him. If he, do, if he goes in there and works AJ all over, Fury will be the greatest fighter ever lived. Or certainly of this generation. No doubt, if that happens. If he goes in there and jacks, then we'll know that, you know what I'm saying, it's one of them ones. But as of yet, Fury, listen, we ain't got to wait long. A few months. And we get to see who's made of what, on both sides. So, I don't mind Fury running up or marching off and thinking, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sitting around to support this. Rightly so as well, because Fury was talking the game. Fury thought his man was there to really win and fight through. He didn't do that. So I don't care what I don't care what I supported initially. Fury, from Fury's position, I spoke to Fury. I said to him, Why did you walk off? He said, Listen, I'm not gonna sit around and support this mediocre behaviour. Yeah, this subpar behaviour. I was shilling Billy Joe on the basis that he was coming to really DIE in there, that he was coming to really fight. Because that's what I plan to do. So when, when the opposite happens, what am I supposed to do? Hang around and watch this 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 behaviour that we've all laughed at before, we've all condoned. No, Fury said. I'm not gonna stand here and support this. Because listen, Fury, by going into the ring and walking off with Billy Ho and going to the hospital with him and going back to the changing room, that just, that's all just that mean, that makes you complicit. That means that all that you said is a lie. Fury, to his credit so far, believes it's real. Like I said, we're going to find out how real it really is when he's in there with someone who can who can hit half sharp. Because Billy Ho didn't find out how real it is until he was in there with someone who can hit, hit half sharp. AJ and, uh, AJ and Canelo, pound for pound, in my opinion, are of similar levels in terms of hitting hard. We saw what happened to Pulev. Pulev turned his back. He didn't want no more. And AJ wasn't even really half going on him. That was the first thing that he threw, and Pulev, did, a man who's con uh, a big hardback European Don, yeah, turned his, gave his back up. AJ was hang hanging at the back of Pulev, no doubt. So we're going to see about how f how serious Fury is, but as of yet, I have to give credit to Fury because he, he Fury today has chosen his principles over people. And I do believe that. I believe you don't go with people. You go with principles. If you set a principle, you stand by it. You don't say, well, you know, Billy Ho's my mate and I'm going to bend. No, you don't bend your principle. You, if anything, I'm hearing Fury going to be checking Billy Ho and saying, listen, Billy Ho, you was talking a big game. You dragged me into this for all. You dragged me into this and you put my my brand and my um my reputation on the line. You've brought me into your lies. Now I look bad. That's what Fury's saying, no doubt. That's why you weren't there. Think of, do the maths in your own head. Never mind the maths. I spoke to him myself. Billy Ho is going to get back. And when his eye clears up, he can have a whole load of messages, voice notes from Fury telling him. I don't appreciate what you've done to my image. You've made me look bad now. You've made me look like a fool. You talked all, you made, you brought me into it. Now, if you was, Billy Ho was welcome to come along and talk a good game on his own. But to bring me in, to get me on the bound wagon. To get me blowing smoke up your backside, thinking you was really about it, about it, and you go in there and fold at the first sign of trouble, that's not cool. Now, I've got the YB on my back, making, you know what I'm saying, exposing it all. So I do, in, on that respect, I do, res, I do rate Fury for standing by his principles and not picking people. Because we can all pick people. We can all take a jab at Daniel Dubois and a jab at Kelbrook and then... Oh, well, you know, Billy Joe... No, we can't do that. It don't make sense. Or, oh, sorry, it's weak. It's easy to pick... Oh, well, Billy Joe's different and Daniel Dubois a bum and Kelly Brooks a Kelly. No. Stand by the principles. Billy, you're a bum, just like everyone else, if that's what bums are. 
you know what I'm saying? If the standard for a bum, if the standard for a quitter is getting bopped on the eye and saying you want no more, then that's what it is. Fair enough. But let's not forget, Billy Ho's the one who set the standard on that. He's the one who said, yep, Daniel, you meant to go out on your back, mate. Kel, you meant to go out on your back, mate. He set the standard, not me, not no one else. So anyway, you've heard there, uh, that, that's what Fury, that's Fury's reaction. That's what Fury's been doing in the last six hours. And I'm hearing, don't expect nothing from Fury for in the next couple of, probably 24 hours. Because he, he indisposed right now. 